Hello everybody! Watch this video to find out how to create a software LVM RAID on Linux and how to recover data from an LV RAID 5 system if you removed it accidentally or if several disks failed. Hello friends! If you need to recover deleted data, view or restore removed browsing history, Hetman Software Products will help you. Follow the link in the description, download the necessary program for free, install it and analyze the disk. The utility will show you the data you can recover, so you will be able to view it or get it back. In our channel and blog you will find solutions to any problem, from installing an operating system or configuring it to fixing possible bugs and errors or optimizing mobile gadgets. Our specialists will answer any questions you ask in your comments under the videos or articles. LVM RAID is a method to create a logical volume LV for short, which uses several physical disks to improve performance or fault tolerance. Within LVM, physical disks, abbreviated as PV physical volumes, belong to one volume group, which is abbreviated as VG. Although it is much safer to use MD RAID, if you really need to migrate from conventional disks to a RAID system without having to change their file systems, this method can be very useful. Allocating information with blocks of logical volume data on physical disks is determined by a specific RAID type. Watch a special video to learn more about various RAID types, and I'll give the link in the description as always. LVM RAID technology uses Device Mapper DM and multiple device MD drivers from Linux kernel. DM is used to create and manage visible LVM devices, while MD is used to allocate data onto physical devices. LVM creates hidden logical volumes, DM devices, uh, kind of placed between the visible volumes, known as LV logical volumes, and physical devices. In a few seconds, I'll show you how to create a RAID 5 system with 5 hard disks combined into a single group of logical volumes. Use the command LV create to create an LV RAID. If there is no LVM logical volume manager tool on your computer yet, install it first. Check one of our previous videos for details. Install the manager tool with the command sudo apt install lvm2. Use the super user account to avoid having to enter the password all the time. Now format the disks with the help of the disk utility or the terminal. Just specify the file system and format the disks. In the terminal, use the fdisk command. Before you continue, make sure you have selected the right disk, because this operation erases all data from the disk. Type N to create a new volume, press P to set it as primary, 1, the first partition, and then hit Enter twice. Now let's get the volume ready to be used with LVM. Type T to change the volume type, and then 8E to assign LVM type. Check the volume properties by pressing P. After the operation is successful, a new volume with the name SDB1 appears. Press W to record the changes, and in the same way, format all the disks which are not formatted yet. Now, create a physical LVM volume on the partition you have just created by entering the command pvcreate and repeat it. Uh, for each of the disks. Combine the disks into a group with the command vgcreate. To create a software RAID 5 in the LVM virtual group, type the following command LVCreate, where the end symbol assigns a name to the volume. The type RAID 5 specifies the array type, the L stands for the size of the logical volume, it is 10 GB in this case, and the I symbol indicates the number of devices to be used for data storage. It doesn't include an additional device to store parity blocks, though. 
The number you give should be two or more, because the minimum requirement for this array type is three disks. The VG1 part indicates from which volume or which group, in our case, the space should be taken. That's all. The RAID system has been created, and it needs to be formatted and mounted so that you can start using it. Formatted in XT4. File system EXT4, name of the group and volume name. Now mount it. That's all. The volume is mounted. Run the following command to check the LVM RAID status. On the screen, you will see the information on how many devices it includes and what group they belong to. If you accidentally removed important information from an LV RAID system, you can still restore it with the help of Hetman RAID Recovery. This utility supports data recovery from almost all existing RAID types, and the lost information will be back in a moment. At the moment, there is no version of Hetman RAID Recovery for Linux, but it does support the file systems used in Windows, macOS, Linux, and Unix. The program will fix any errors in the logical structure of the hard disk and recover all of its contents. You can run this tool in Linux with the help of a virtual machine, or install Windows as the second operating system on your computer or connect the disk to a Windows computer. As you can see, the program has automatically found and identified properties of the LVM RAID and now displays all the available information about this array. Right-click on the disk and open its properties to see more details. In the RAID tab, you can see what disks it includes and view their IDs, block size, and order. This information will come in handy when you are going to build an array manually in the RAID constructor. That is why it is important to memorize the RAID settings in some way while you are creating it. To recover your data, start with running FastScan. Right-click on the disk, open FastScan, And when the scan is over, the program will display the results in the right side of the window. Removed elements are marked with a red cross. If the fast scan doesn't find the data you need, then use full analysis. The next step is to select the files you want to recover. Click Recovery, select where you want to save them and click Recover again. When the process is over, you will find the recovered files in the folder you have selected. Even with two disks out of order, the program detects the RAID type automatically and displays all the information available about this array. After the fast scan, it managed to find a part of the data, most of it being damaged, so let's run full analysis to discover more. As a result, we can find more data which is still intact. Now select the files you want to restore. Click Recovery, specify the directory where you'd like to save the data, and click Recovery again. When the process is over, you will find the recovered files in the folder you have chosen. If the program could not detect your RAID automatically, use the RAID construct. 
This is when the more information you have on your array, the better. It's type, order of blocks, block size, number of bytes in a sector, the disks it included, and their order. LVM is one of the many Linux technologies to give you more flexibility in managing disk space. When combined with the right technology, it offers good protection against data loss and an easy way to store, manage, and share data. And that is all for now. Hopefully this video was useful. Remember to click the like button and subscribe to our channel. Push the bell button to receive notifications and never miss new videos. Leave comments to ask questions. Thank you for watching and good luck!